Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Karina, Living Lean Six Sigma, continuation of section Cabin Atmosphere Control Systems. If the liquid level gauge in a vapor cycle cooling system indicates a low freon charge, the system should answer be operated for a period of time to reach stable condition and then the freon level rechecked. Uh, extra information, bubbles in the sight glass in the receiver dryer of a vapor cycle air cooling system indicates that the charge of refrigerant is low. When bubbles are seen, the system should be operated for a period of time to allow the system to stabilize. Question, if the cabin rate of climb is too great, the control should be adjusted to cause the answer outflow valve to close faster. Question, the position of the thermostatic expansion valve in a vapor cycle cooling system is determined by temperature and pressure of the answer freon in the outlet of the evaporator. Question, the function of the condenser in a freon cooling system is to answer transfer heat from the freon gas to ambient air. Question, the function of an expansion valve in a freon cooling system is to act as a metering device and to answer Reduce the pressure of the liquid freon. Question. Which prevents a sudden loss of pressurization in the event that there is a loss of the pressurization source? Answer. Delivery air duct check valve. Question. When servicing the air conditioning system that has lost all of its freon, it is necessary to answer, check oil, and add as necessary, evacuate the system, and add Freon. Question. The primary function of the cabin pressurization system outflow valve is to answer, maintain the desired cabin pressure. Question. One purpose of a jet pump in a pressurization and air conditioning system is to answer, provide for augmentation of airflow in some areas of the aircraft. Note, a jet pump is essentially a special venturi in a line carrying air from certain areas in an aircraft that need an augmented airflow through them. Jet pumps are often used in the lines that pull air through galleys and toilet areas. A nozzle blows a stream of high velocity compressed bleed air into the throat of the venturi. This in increases the velocity of the air flowing through the venturi and produces a low pressure that pulls air from the compartment to which it is connected. Question, after cleaning or replacing the filtered filtering element in the in a combustion heater fuel system the system should be pressurized and answer all connection all connections checked for leaks question the operating the operation of an aircraft combustion heater is usually controlled by a thermostat circuit which answer alternately turns the fuel on and off, a process known as cycling. Question. The air cycle cooling system produces cold air by, answer, extracting heat energy across an expansion turbine. <clears throat> Question. Refer to figure. Determine which unit is located immediately downstream of the expansion valve in a Freon refrigeration system. Answer. Evaporator coils.
Question. What does a steady stream of bubbles indicate when servicing a vapor cycle air conditioning system? Answer. The system is undercharged. Question. An aircraft pressurization cycle is normally considered to be answered one complete series of events or operations that recur regularly. Question. Which best describes cabin differential pressure? Answer. Difference between the ambient and internal air pressure. Question. Composite oxygen bottles that conform to the DOT-E-8162 have a service life of, answer, 15 years or 10,000 filling cycles, whichever occurs first. Question. The cabin pressurization modes of operation are, answer, differential, unpressurized, and isobaric. Question one and two, which one is true? Usually bleed air from a gas turbine, turbine engine compressor can be safely used for cabin pressurization. Two, independent cabin condition air machines, air cycle machines can be powered by bleed air from an aircraft turbine engine compressor. Answer. Both number one and number two are true. Question. A pressurization controller uses, answer, barometric pressure, cabin altitude, and cabin rate of change. Question. What unit in a vapor cycle cooling system serves as a reservoir for the refrigerant? Answer, receiver dryer. Question. What is the condition of a refrigerant as it enters the condenser of a vapor cycle cooling system? Answer. High pressure vapor. Question. What is the condition of the refrigerant as it enters the evaporator of a vapor cycle cooling system? Answer. Low pressure liquid. Question. The evacuation of a vapor cycle cooling system removes any water that may be present by answer, lowering the boiling point of water and drawing out the vapor. Question. What is the condition of the refrigerant as it leaves the evaporator of a vapor cycle cooling system? Answer. Low pressure vapor. Question. What is the condition of the refrigerant as it leaves the condenser of a vapor cycle cooling system? Answer, high pressure liquid. In what position should the bottle be placed when adding liquid freon to a vapor cycle cooling system? Answer, vertical with the outlet at the bottom. Note, care must be used when adding liquid for refrigerant. The outside air temperature must be high enough for all of the liquid to change into a vapor before it reaches the compressor. Question. When purging a Freon air conditioning system, it is important to release the charge at a slow rate. What is the reason for the slow rate discharge? Answer. Prevent excessive loss of refrigerant oil. Question. When a vapor cycle cooling system is not in operation, what is an indication of that system is leaking Freon? Answer. Oil seepage. Question. In an operating vapor cycle cooling system, if the two lines connected to the expansion valve are essentially the same temperature, what does this indicate? Answer, the expansion valve is not metering Freon properly. Question, the purpose of a subcooler in a vapor cycle cooling system is to answer, 
Cool the Freon to prevent premature vaporization. Question. One and two. Which one is true? One. A small amount of water in a vapor cycle cooling system can freeze in the receiver dryer and stop the entire system operation. Two, water in vapor cycle cooling system will react with the refrigerant to form hydrochloric acid, which is highly corrosive in the metal to the system. Answer, only number two is true. Question. When refrigerant 12 is passed over an open flame, it, answer, changes to phosgene gas. Question. What type of oil is suitable for the use in vapor cycle cooling system? Answer. Special high grade free refrigeration oil. Question. What type of oil is suitable for use in vapor cycle cooling system? Answer, specialty high grade refrigeration oil. Question, when an aircraft's oxygen system has developed a leak, the lines and fittings should be, answer, bubble tested with a special soap solution manufactured specifically for this purpose. Question, if oxygen bottle pressure is allowed to drop below the specific minimum, it may cause, answer, moisture to collect in the bottle. Question, what controls the amount of oxygen delivered to a mask in a continuous flow oxygen system? Answer, calibrated orifice. Question, when does the diluter demand regulator operate? Answer, when the user inhales. Question. The primary difference between aviation breathing oxygen and other types of commercial available compressed oxygen is that, answer, aviation breathing oxygen has had all of the water vapor removed. Question. What is used in some oxygen systems to change high cylinder pressure to low system pressure? Answer. Pressure reducer valve. Question. In a high pressure oxygen system, if the pressure reducer fails, what prevents high pressure oxygen from entering the system downstream? Answer. Pressure relief valve. Question. High pressure cylinders containing oxygen for aviation use can be identified by their answer green color and the words aviators breathing oxygen stenciled in one inch white letters. Question, refer to figure. One hour after oxygen system was charged for a leakage check, the oxygen pressure gauge reads 460 PSI at 63 degrees Fahrenheit. Six hours later, the temperature was 51 degrees Fahrenheit. A five PSI change is the maximum allowable in a six hour period. What pressure gauge readings would be acceptable to remain within the allowable limits? Answer, 445 to 450 PSI. Question. An aircraft oxygen bottle may be considered airworthy if it has been hydrostatically tested and identified. Answer. With the test date, DOT, numbered and serial number stamped on the cylinder near the neck. Question. In a gaseous oxygen system, which of the following are vented? to blow out plugs in the fuselage skin? Answer, pressure relief valves. Question, what is the purpose of pressurizing the aircraft cabin? Answer, to make human flight possible in the hostile environment of the upper atmosphere. Question, 
Regarding the above statements, which one is true? Number one, oxygen used in aircraft system is at least 99.5% pure and is practically water free. Two, oxygen used in aircraft system is 99.5% pure and is hospital quality. Answer, only number one is true. Number two is not true. Oxygen aircraft system, um, but it's not the same as hospital quality. Hospital quality oxygen contains more water vapor than allowed in aviators breathing oxygen. Question. Oxygen systems in unpressurized aircraft are generally of the answer. Continuous flow and pressure demand types. Question. The purpose of the airflow metering aneroid assembly found in oxygen diluter demand regulator is to answer, regulate airflow in relation to cabin altitude when in diluter demand position. Question. If a high pressure oxygen cylinder is to be installed in an airplane, it must meet the speci specifications of the Answer, Department of Transportation, DOT. Question, before a high pressure oxygen cylinder is serviced, it must be correct type and have been, answer, hydrostatically tested within the proper time interval. Question, a contaminated oxygen system is normally purged with, answer, oxygen. Question, how should you determine the amount of oxygen in a portable high pressure cylinder? Answer, read the pressure gauge mounted on the cylinder. Question, what may be used as a lubricant on oxygen system tampered pipe thread connections? Answer, Teflon tape. Uh, note, the only thread lubricant approved for use in tampered pipe threads is the MIL-T-5542 oxygen compatible thread lubricant. Question. On a transportation category aircraft, what might be an indication of an overpressure event of the aircraft oxygen system? Answer. The green thermal expansion disc missing. Question, which of the following are characteristics of a chemical or solid state oxygen system? Answer, an adjustment oxygen released rate. Question, which of the following are characteristics of a chemical or solid state oxygen system? Answer, there's two. Uh, a volume storage capacity about three times that of the compressed oxygen. The system generators are inert below 400 degrees Fahrenheit, even under severe impact. I'm going to stop here. I am under the weather and... Um... Thanks for watching. This is Karina, Living Lean Six Sigma, and we'll continue airframe in the next video.